East Africa is currently facing one of its worst droughts of the last century. The dire emergency in East Africa, the drought there exacerbating the hunger crisis as many as 20 million people We Maasai in Tanzania and many other indigenous people are heavily affected by the extreme drought periods. With our natural water sources completely dried up and cattle dying, we were left with only one option, to build a water well. This was made possible with the amazing help and support of our community. You will see more on this later in the video. With many rivers, lakes and springs dried up, both human and animal are in conflict over the remaining water sources. To get water for our cows, we have to spend days walking and searching for water sources that haven't dried up yet. Hi right, guys, we are still walking. Long way to get water with the cows. So we, they are just chilling in the shed because it's so hot. It's burning. It's hot. So we are going slow, slow until we get water. So now we start to move. Look how cows are so skinny because there is no grass. Everywhere is dry, no water. So you see how they are. But when the rain come, they all go healthy. So don't be tired. Let's walk together until we found the water. The cow. So we are speaking to the cow because we normally speak cow language. We tell them to come down. We're gonna find water. So no problem. So the way we speak with the cow, we just go like this. Don't worry, come down, we're gonna find the water. So they are having a grass, they don't give up. That's, let's go, don't worry. Finally, we found where the water is for the cows. What you have to know is that we have hundreds of cows, goats, donkeys, and other animals that have to live off those small water puddles. In this dry season, even this type of puddles dried up eventually. Finally, we found where the water is for the cow. So we are happy. So we make our hair wet. Here I am. It is where our cows come to get water when the rain. This is rain water. When it's dry, you can't get water here. But we make here to be like this because of saving water. Yeah, so when, when it's raining, the water will drop here, come from this way, to be full here, so the cow are not going so far away. So this is water reserve from raining. Besides the kettle, also ourselves are facing water issues this dry season. With our natural springs dried up, we currently get our drinking water from a community well. We have to walk many hours and wait for a whole day or two in the queue to fill our tanks with drinkable water. That's why we made a very big investment for us and started the construction of a water well. I'm digging for getting water. What you have to know is that you can't just dig a hole somewhere and hope water comes out. It is a long government process here and engineers have to decide on the location and construction. This long process can make it quite expensive. Hello, it's the one of happiness day. We are cutting the tree to make the drilling water for the Prakapa family. <laughs> so I'm so happy, I don't know how to explain. I will explain later, because I'm so over happy.
Oh. This is the spot where the hole for the water, and this is an Indian engineer. So he found where the water is. So we are starting going on. Amio. <laughs> It can actually get quite difficult and expensive to dig a well in Tanzania because of the soil geology. The soil is very hard and full of roots and the rock formations require us to use heavy equipment, even explosives. I'm digging for getting water. <laughs> we get a blessing and uh, now we're making a fire to make the oil so we put more blessing to the blessing water so we did the first blessing and that the second is coming so prepare fire and oil and here we go Hi, we are on day two, try to find the water, and now we are on the first level. We start to get out the stones where the water point is. And then we are keeping going. It is five days for now, almost a week. People, they don't have water. So we try to do our best to find the water here. So pray for us. Let's go together. <laughs> if you guys want to support this project financially, we would be very thankful. You can check out the link in the comments or in the description to find our fundraiser. With your help, we can create a very big impact in this community. And just sharing this would mean a lot to us.